Uh, good afternoon, everyone. Welcome down to Keenisham Town Football Club, where it's finished in the FA Cup second round at Watford, uh, Keenisham Town nil, Watford FC Ladies three. I've been joined by one of our one of our goal scorers, Alicia, and manager Clint as well. Guys, massive well done, uh, Alicia. I'm gonna start with you. That's a good way to come back from injury. Score, uh, scoring on your return. Yeah, really happy about the goal. Obviously, more happy, a lot more happy with the win. Good to get minutes back in the tank, but yeah, much happier we got the win. <laughs> So, uh, Clint, uh, another cup, another cup game, another cup win. This uh, it's becoming a nice habit. This winning thing. It is, yeah. We're on a good run at the moment. We want to keep that going. Um, I mean, today was tough, difficult first half. We had to find our way in gradually. They set up quite deep and um, find it hard, hard to play through them. But um, in the end, we found our way second half. Um, the girls that came on, obviously Alicia, Jenny, Cat, come on to put a good shift and uh, saw us over the line in the end. So good performance in the end. I was going to say, was it a case of not getting too frustrated today during the games? It looked like, like you say, at times it, they were like sitting deep. Was it just a case of saying to the girls, you know, just can't like play, play your normal game and then, you know, chances will occur? I think so. I think one, one thing we looked at in training um, when we analysed the last game was the gap in between their, their defence and midfield. And it just wasn't really there. So they obviously changed, which means we had to change what we were, what we were going to do. Um, and obviously it took us a bit of time to do that and we found our feet in the end. In the second half, obviously, they came out and um, the quality of football was was brilliant. I think throughout the whole game, I think we just had to be a little bit patient in the first half, and we found our feet in the second half and, and got the three good goals. Brilliant. And just one final bit, like, so massive game next weekend for uh, down at Plymouth. Um, what, what would you say to people to come down and watch? Uh, well, we've got a few by the sounds of it coming down at the minute, so if we can get any more, that'd be great. Um, just as much support as possible, really. I mean, it's, I know it's a long way for everybody to go, but you know, we the girls obviously really appreciate the support. The noise that everybody's making when they're here is amazing. It really just encourages the player, the, the players, sorry, to, to go on and and, uh, and see the games off. So hopefully we can get a, a fair few more down there next week. But um, yeah, and hopefully see you. Uh, hopefully see you guys there. Brilliant. Right, I'll let you guys go and get in the warm. Thank, thank you very much for joining us, fellas. Thanks, mate. Well, uh, thank you. Cheers. Right, guys, don't forget Plymouth Argyle next Sunday down at Plymouth Argyle Football Club where the men play at Home Park. Please, please come down and join us. Come and support the girls. You just heard, what you heard from Alicia there how much it means when the support with the support they get. So come on down, come and cheer the girls on. It will be a cracking day out and we'll see you down there. Bye for now. Click here for more videos. Or here. <laughs> that's it, yeah, that's it, done. Cool, thank you.